Well, isn't it just a huge moment for Counter-Strike? It's been 20 years, 20 years since this game was released. I was only two when it first came out, or, or maybe I was actually six, or maybe I wasn't born yet, who knows? But anyway, to celebrate, Valve has released a new sticker capsule focusing on the true stars of the game, the chickens. And don't underestimate just how important this guy is either. I mean, he's literally hung out with Shaquille O'Neal. You go ahead, I watch the chicken. See, it was a literal bromance. He wanted time alone with that chicken. And as is only fitting, Valve has provided our avian friend with the true tribute that he deserves. Uh, ho hold on, my chickens are female, aren't they? Shit. Anyway, given I kind of owe the success of my channel to a video where I scrape some stickers from the Boston Major, I figure it's only fitting that to celebrate Counter-Strike's 20th anniversary, I do the same for these new stickers. And who knows, maybe there are some secrets hidden away there. And since I just unboxed the Roosty Boosty, well, maybe it's a good place to start. And first of all, I, I have to say, these guys look a hell of a lot more like pigeons rather than roosters to me. I mean, I, I, I don't know, who knows what's under those berets, but I think we may have some imposters. However, I have to say, these things do not do too well under the chisel. If you're going to put it on an AK, which I've got here because it's a gun that people actually use, uh, definitely don't scrape it. You'll just destroy it. There's no point. It's fucked if you do. But who knows? Maybe the Bacorp will do better. I mean, you know, Bacorp, it's, it's an interesting little visual pun. You can see what they're trying to do there. And in fact, if we scrape it, well, there's no secret per se, but you can kind of remove everything except for the rooster and the orb, which is not too bad. Like, that that's interesting. It looks okay in game. So that's something. It's not amazing, but it's something. And next up, we're bringing out the big bucks, or should I say, big clucks. Yeah, it's it's not very funny. But I do like the way it says United States of CSGO and 100 clucks on the note. That's a nice little touch. But it doesn't scrape too well. I mean, you can see what they're trying to do, but uh, like the edges of the notes are all ground off. It's just... Not very good. I wouldn't bother with this one. Anyway, next... <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. What What is with this sticker? Like, <laughs> the chicken's got a band-aid over its ass. And look at his expression. Look at the expression on that thing. It looks like someone's trying to shove something up there. <laughs> but who could be doing that, by the way? What could be going on with this chicken? You go ahead. I watch the chicken. Oh my god. By the way, I'd only ever heard of the What What in the Butt song as a clip from South Park before I made this video. I didn't realise it was originally a viral song made by somebody else. Anyway, scraping the What What chicken butt sticker? Well, you get a leftover chicken, but I still wouldn't try it. And for sticker number five, we have a stunningly unoriginal pun. Also, it doesn't scrape particularly well. You get this chicken head left over, it looks like this in game so you know if you want a chicken head sure but I, I personally wouldn't do it we've also got the chicken spa meets mcdonald's sweet and sour sauce punnet sticker you can sort of scrape the top off this one and just have the punnet of sauce left but i wouldn't recommend it either it still comes out quite scratched we've also got hot wings which is a much more original pun i i have to say this sticker scrapes slightly better. You sort of get something left, but it's still not very good. And a flat surface doesn't help that much either. Uh, uh, believe me, I've tried. As for the nest egg sticker, well, we are definitely back in the world of creative puns again. I mean, we've got the grenades rather than eggs, and he's sitting on a winter offensive case. And I have to say, if you bought 10,000 of them when they were cheap, that would have been a damn good nest egg. And if so inclined, you can scrape away the nest. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but you can do it if you'd just rather have a weapons case than a pile of grenades. It looks like this on a smoother surface in game. Don't do it at the end of an AK. It doesn't work too well. And we also have the bonehead sticker. Now, I believe the name is a reference to the bone sticking out of the chicken's head, but I, I don't know. This looks like something from a Saw movie to me. It's a bit gruesome. You can scrape away the background, though, and just be left with the the head, the world's most disgusting chicken drumstick, if you want. I don't know why you'd want to use the sticker in the first place. I think it's a bit weird and gross, but you can do that if you want. And finally, we have the heads up sticker. Now, I, I can see what they're going for, but it's not a very interesting sticker. You can, however, scrape away the parachute 
and just be there for a bunch of chickens in a crate if that's what you want in a gun. I don't know who's going to want that on their gun, but if you do want it, well, it is there. And maybe that's a fitting note to finish up this video on because I don't know who exactly is going to want these stickers. They're not particularly amazing, but if you do want them, they are there. And yes, there aren't really any hidden secrets in these of wasted your time effectively. But by the way, Valve, could we have some more stickers from Two Mind Studio, please? Because they fucking blew it out of the water last time. Can we have some more of those? That'd be great, thanks. Anyway, though, that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. I've kind of wasted your time. Sorry about that. I'm Jesus. See ya.